Alrighty. Okay. <clears throat> so, here's the deal. I I don't really consider myself a sneakerhead. Um, if anything, uh, I just really like uh, this specific type of shoe. Uh, they're called Ultra Boosts. Um, and anything basically that has that kind of material, uh, the reason I like it so much is because when I tried the first pair I've ever tried on in my life, it literally felt like I was walking on clouds. Um, probably the most comfortable shoe I've ever worn in my life. Uh, I, I may be overhyping it, it's probably not the same for everyone else, but for me at least, I fell in love with them. Alright, well, how would you define a sneakerhead? Well, you know, most sneakerheads that I know, personally at least, they, they like to collect uh, like Jordans, you know, basketball shoes for the most part. Uh, and that's, I guess, I mean, honestly, I don't know really the history about people who collect shoes or are sneakerheads, sneakerheads, you know. Um, but I know for the most part, uh, a lot of it revolves around collecting Jordans. And there's many renditions. There's like Jordan 1s, 2s, 3s, etc. Et you you, you kind of get the point. Um, but recently, Adidas has been releasing uh, this new technology in their shoe brand. Uh, and it's called Boost Technology. Uh, it basically, uh, they use these like little. Uh, I don't really know how to describe it. They, they, they kind of look like little, little like gel beads. And what they do is they fuse them together and they put them into the shoe, essentially making them the most comfortable, cushiony, cloud-like material ever. There it is, Ultra Boost. But it really feels like it really feels like you're walking on like a sp not a sponge. I mean, it's like it's like getting a Tempur-Pedic mattress. You know how you kind of like sink into it. Well, it's like I got a Tempur-Pedic mattress for my feet. Yeah, this is kind of what it feels like. It's it's amazing. It's very, very comfortable. Um, and I am not endorsed, by the way, by Adidas, even though I'm we I'm wearing Adidas hat and a hoodie. No, 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 no. Don't get this wrong. Don't get this mixed up. I'm not endorsed by them. I am just a loyal Adidas fan. Ever since I was young, I've been using uh, Adidas gear, Adidas soccer shoes, specific specifically because I I used to play soccer when I was younger, and I would only buy Adidas shoes uh, just because I think the leather. They just leather would just stretch easier for me. Um, but yeah, on, it just obsession I think happened. I want to say about barely a month ago. Uh, I went to a friend's house and he had a lot of these, you know, like Adidas shoes just sitting around in his closet. And I tried them on. <laughs> um, this one's for you, Tim. By the way, Tim. I went to Tim's place, tried on his sneakers, um, and I just immediately fell in love. They weren't Ultra Boost. Um, but they, they had this material, it's called prime knit material. Um, and it's like, you see you see how my fingers are just like kind of flowing through? I have I have really wide feet, so it's really hard for me to get shoes that fit well um, and don't, don't hurt as much. Um, but this specific pair right here are probably the most comfortable pair of shoes I've ever bought in my life. Um, and I use them to work out because they're, they're so great for running. They give you that extra bounce, that extra comfort. Um, it's really extremely light. Uh, and the material's stretchy, and I have white feet, so it's perfect for my feet. Um, so I, I mean, that, I, I told you all the practical uses. Yeah, th those are good reasons why. But I also fell in love with the style. <laughs> it's don't don't get don't get me wrong. It's not just because uh, I, I like the comfort of the shoe, but it it, it is because I think they look really cool. Uh, some people may hate them. You know, some people may not think they're as neat, but I think they look awesome like this is just fire on your feet like look at the colors gosh and this one I, I i keep wanting to buy shoes but i don't really need more you know i just i just want to collect them though it's 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 bad it's bad it's bad it's bad so i'm honestly like Maybe in the future, maybe this year, I'll, I plan to get one or two new more new shoes. Even though I already have five ultra-boosted shoes, basically.
<laughs> but but yeah this one's gonna be a short vlog you guys I, I, I don't plan on going too long um, and this is already a pretty long cut honestly like oh my goodness I've just been droning on about shoes for like ever right now so I, I'm gonna stop talking about the shoes or I'm gonna st sorry stop talking to you about you know how I fell in love with it and stuff because you know that's that's pretty much all uh, done with now but I, I'll go into the shoe and I'll go, I'll go over each one and why I like it so here we go all right guys so this this one is called uh, the tubular doom prime knit shoes all right so these are the ones I tried on at my buddy Tim's house. I know I'm probably gonna get a lot of haters because I bought the exact same shoe as him, but I, he has like the same shoe but in four different colors. So honestly, come on, man, come on. <laughs> if I had to get a shoe, like it'd be impossible for me not to match him. But these are kind of interesting. They're a part of the tubular series in Adidas, and they have uh, this kind of tubular bottom, like a tube going through the bottom of the shoe. Uh, so I mean, it's pretty good support, but. It's, it's a little kind of funky walking on, you have to get kind of used to it. Uh, but other than that, it's again, prime knit, meaning this material is extremely stretchy. Uh, great comfort because I have wide feet and everything pretty much stretches on the shoe. Also to note, um, it has this cool like sock top, so it looks like your pants are almost connecting to the shoe. And it looks really sweet. There's like this suede like Adidas marker on the back, which makes it look really cool as well as in the front as well. So, I mean, it's 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 pretty cool. I, I like the shoe a lot. It's my, it's my first shoe. Uh, it's kind of what got me into uh, buying sneakers. All right, so the next pair of sneakers that I want to get, um, I wanted to get Ultra Boost. You know, I, wa I want, I, I tried them on, I tried my friends on, and I was just like, these are amazing. These feel great. Uh, and a lot of the prices, like these, these aren't really cheap. A lot of them are pretty expensive. Um, so I found the ones that weren't like crazy expensive, but had kind of a cool colorway. Uh, I mean, some people may not like super bright colors, but I went with this color. It's a solar red. Uh, they're called Solar Red Ultra Boost. These are 2.0s. Uh, the 3.0s were recently released, which uh, tend to, I think they're supposed to be more comfortable, but honestly, these are pretty comfortable uh, regardless, because it's still that Ultra Boost material. Um, and these are caged, meaning they have this uh, little uh, plastic. I don't know if it's actually plastic, I don't know what the material is, but um, it basically goes all around the shoe, um, the three Adidas stripes, and cases it in, giving you a little bit more snug of a fit. Uh, and again, this material is amazing. Uh, very well made. Uh, you can tell that it's been very meticulously crafted as well. I also did end up putting some new laces on this one. Before it had this bright, it was the same color as this. It was like a bright orange lace, but it looked kind of goofy. So I got these black uh, reflective laces and they look way cooler. All right, so next in the series, uh, I had to get myself some NMDs because these are Adidas like kind of street style ultra boosts. Uh, they're not really meant for working out, but you, you know you wear them to kind of show off your style, show off you know how cool you are. Uh, again, NMDs are known for their uh, really cool. Uh, what you call it? It's like a it's like a foam uh, foam markers on the side, I guess you could say. Uh, and it has this cool strap on the back. This one has some Japanese writing on it. Uh, which I think makes makes it pretty cool. Uh, they're called these these ones specifically are called wool NMD because uh, it's kind of like a wool color, but it's not wool material. Again, it's like that prime knit material. Uh, very uh, very stretchy and comfy. And also these laces they're reflective, so that was kind of a cool uh, little come up on that. I really do like the design on the back. It has this really cool, like, nice Adidas logo. It feels really nice. It's like, you can tell it's not, like, cheap material they're using. And again, the sides also on these are really reflective. So honestly, like, I could see people running in these. I mean, I wouldn't say they're very comfortable to run in. But it does have the boost material, so I mean, I guess. I am a little spoiled saying things aren't comfortable when it's already boost material. Next shoe. So I know in the previous segment I already kind of talked about these, but... Yes, these are the, the camo uh, XR1s, again, part of the NMD series because of this, uh, what is this, foam-like cover. Uh, but this casing is just really cool. This, this one, unfortunately, it's also not, um, 
what is it, knit material. So it, it's a little bit harder on my feet uh, just because uh, my feet need to stretch out the shoe, but this hasn't stretched out yet because I've only worn it like twice. Um, but what's really cool again is this back part, it's like suede, it's really nice. Straps are really nice as well. Um, the side, again, great quality on the sides of this uh, shoe, the caging. There's like a net right here too, so I, I think this one looks really neat. If you're wearing these with like a, some, uh, uh, what am I trying to say? Tapered joggers, sorry, brown tapered joggers. I think they look really great. So, my next shoe, it's the last one. Um, it's my favorite shoe. All right guys, and these are probably my most loved and my, my Favorite shoe, I just recently got it uh, not too long ago. For retail price, it really 7 a.m. I think on February 6th or 7th. Uh, and I, as soon as it hit 7 o'clock, I had gone to the site. Um, it, honestly, they sold out within like 15, 20 minutes. So I, I was lucky to grab one in my size. Um, God forbid I don't get one in my size, jeez. But these are Ultra Boost 3.1. They're uncaged multicolor. So, you know how the solar reds have that caging on the side? Well, these ones do not have the caging. Uh, instead, have the three Adidas stripes on the side, inside of the shoe here. Uh, what makes these great is, again, the knitting on the shoe. Immense detail. Uh, at first, I didn't think I'd be a huge fan of the multicolor, but seeing them in person, it actually is amazing. The detail looks really cool. It looks like little sprinkles in there. And of course, the back side, the, the quality on that, that logo right there, this is Ultra Boost. It is just pristine. Um, and this Boost material, again, they I think they may have enhanced it somehow. Really, really comfortable. Like it's it's literally like heaven on your feet. And again, Continental, the tire company. You know they put it on the bottom, make it extra extra comfy, extra extra grip. And on the inside there, it says uh, Ultra Boost. Yep, this is this is my grail right here. This these are my favorite shoes. Favorite shoes ever. I, I work out in these almost every day. I switch between these ones and the solar reds. Those are my two kind of workout shoes uh, that I take to the gym with me. I don't run outside in the rain with them because I'm not trying to get them like crazy dirty. But yeah guys, that's I mean that's pretty much my collection so far. And I say so far because I know in the future I'm probably gonna end up buying more. Which I probably shouldn't. You know, more is never good, but I do, I do really love them. Uh, in a couple days, uh, the Yeezys are releasing, and I have mixed feelings about them because you know they're about two hundred twenty dollars retail price, but they sell in the aftermarket um, anywhere from four hundred to a thousand dollars. Some of the higher brand Yeezys, the ones that are kind of like boots, those go for a uh, thousand or more. So it's it's pretty intense. The, the I, 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 I don't know what kind of a game I'm going into here, uh, but this sneaker game, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty intense. Um, it's pretty high demand, because all of these shoes are limited, meaning they only release you know, so many uh, before they get sold out and they become dead stock. So that's why uh, I, know I feel like I have to keep collecting them, <laughs> which I don't, but they're great shoes. Um, if you ever get a chance to get your hands on one, I definitely would do it. Uh, you don't need five. <laughs> I just got five because I want to rotate them and not, you know, wear them all out at once. Uh, but, you know, I have one for kind of pretty much every style that I want to go for, and it's 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 nice. It's a nice convenience to have, and these shoes are great quality. I think Adidas is doing something great. Again, I'm not endorsed by Adidas. I just am a huge fan of Adidas uh, ever since I was young. Uh, never a big fan of Nike. Uh, that's another reason why I'm not I'm not like a huge Jordan fan. But I, the reason I don't like Nike, they just don't fit on my feet. I have white feet and. Um, a, lot of, a lot of them, I mean like they have the fly, fly knit material, but it's nowhere near uh, what this prime knit material is. It's, it's way more comfortable. Um, so that's, that's just my personal take on it. I'm Adidas, I've always been Adidas, I'm going to stay Adidas forever. Uh, but yeah guys, that's, I mean that's the end of this vlog. It's kind of long and, and tedious right now. <laughs> but hey, this is a part of my life uh, and I just want to let you guys know about it and share about my uh, sneaker obsession. So there'll be more to come guys, there'll be more to come. I'm sure I'll talk about other things um, such as my computer, maybe some games I'll play, but but we'll, we'll delve deeper into the life of Michael Kang. So until next time you guys, I will see you all later.